um, I'm, I've been a documentary maker for, you know, 30 years and uh, also been a teacher, uh, 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 had a, a, a longstanding interest in the region of the of Appalachian, Kentucky and the Ohio Valley. Um, um, and, you know, my interest in, in documentary making is also kind of entangled with uh, um, uh, you know, public, the notion of public media and documentary making is part of that whole idea of, of um, I mean, if you want to have a democratic society, you have to be able to talk about reality and documentary are set up to do that. So that's something I've always been interested in doing. And I should say that I don't think I've ever, uh, Gene and I have ever, we've been trying to pull this stuff off on and off over many, many years. And I don't know if we've ever ha been quite as successful at our goals as do, uh, working with the, uh, with the Afro-Latian poets and, and doing Cold Black Voices that uh, kind of worked all together very nicely in, in terms of that idea of getting, uh, um, um, I guess, culture, images, sounds, language uh, that people aren't used to seeing, uh, you know, uh, up there in the media someplace in a space uh, where it could be understood and appreciated by different people and different ideas are there and so forth. So it was, it was, a, it was a grand, good feeling. Uh, I think it was magical. Um, I remember when we were doing the film, the filming, and um, it may have been my first set, but it wasn't my last. But but nothing else has felt quite that that magical, um, and quite that communal. The way that um, you all worked with us, the way that we worked with you all, and um, both the singular sets and any time we were all sort of on set waiting our turn to 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 uh, film our poems or some of the uh, the communal gatherings that we had. Um, I, I remember it still very fondly. It was just, um, I think I went home and cried <laughs> because it, it felt really like something special was in the air. Well, so what, did you what, all what, oh. what Crystal's not saying is that <clears throat> the weekend that all the Afro-Latian poets gathered which was a magnificent effort on our part to get everybody there at the same time. It was. At, uh, downtown Louisville at the, um, uh, where, where were we at the? Uh, Galt House. Yeah, at the Galt House. <laughs> and we had, the camera that we had shipped in from New York, we had complete failure. You don't even, maybe don't remember this, but. Um, I don't. So we were down for uh, pretty much an entire day all the poets are, you know, from our point of view, are like sitting there, you know, being really patient, but, you know, well, I mean, we were freaking out most of the time. And uh, so we finally got another camera the next morning, I think, but, um, but, the, but fortunately the poets were having a grand reunion. That's what I remember. I hope that was true. <laughs> it was, yeah. Yeah, I don't even remember the broken camera or oh. any of that. I just remember um, because uh, you know the time had come that so many of us couldn't um, get together the way that we did. We had, um, and I think maybe Paul had already moved away. I can't remember, but right. yeah. um, he was all Seattle. of us seeing each other. Yeah, yeah. So all of us seeing each other and um, sneaking around and peeping when we were being filmed at each other. And it was just, and, and then in between takes, it was great. Good, I'm glad, I'm glad it's a good, a good memory. 